So it just come to my attention that the most popular video on my channel is a myth busting video. And it has also come to my attention that my last upload was pretty much six months ago. So yeah, I think you know what this video is about. <laughs> If you've never seen a Skyblock myth busting video before, it's pretty much the series where I break Skyblock in very stupid and dumb ways. It's quite fun. Also, before we get started, uh, please do consider subscribing if you enjoy this video. You know, I don't upload all the time, so I won't spam your sub feed, and it really does help a lot. So if you do end up enjoying this video, then please do consider subscribing. So yeah, uh, enjoy the video. <laughs> so the first few things I want to try in this video have to do with negative stats. Now here's the thing, right? Negative stats are honestly not even a new thing. Like, there's this video here where I got negative crit damage, and, and another video here where I did negative intelligence. However, those videos were like a year ago, and honestly, it's gotten a lot easier to get these negative stats. And I have some very stupid ideas I want to try with them. So, uh, let's start with intelligence. Negative intelligence, for the most part, it's pretty useless. However, I have a couple of use cases that might be really OP. Okay, so there's an item in the game. It's, it's in a backpack, and the backpacks are just to say while i get a new flower of truth you should consider joining my discord server because i want more people in it and it's very cool just join the discord all right so now we have this nice flower of truth here's the thing about this item if i go to like the crypt or whatever if you pay attention to my mana it uses 10 percent of it but it does a lot of damage i don't have like any armor on or anything but I, how much is this doing Twenty-six thousand. i could be doing a lot more but the point is this thing is really good but it costs 10 percent of your maximum mana so the idea i have is what if you just have negative mana what would happen because 10 percent of negative is negative or if i have like one mana or two mana surely it would round to zero i don't know we're gonna test that out all right so i want to go to my island and then trade this account let's go put the item in there accept it from the alt and then we're gonna accept that all right cool all right so now we're on the alt account as soon as i update this Wait, there's no requirement. All right, so my my account can use this, which is very good. So let's do some testing. Okay, so I got to trade my alt account a couple of other things like this. Got to trade it a Jerry pet. That's a bat pet. All right, so now we have the items here, which is good. All right, so if I put this on, put this on, and I hold this, I'm at negative 53. Okay, which <laughs> this is pretty good. So I actually, if I put that on, I'm at negative 153. All right, what happens if I use this? I don't have enough mana to do it. All right, I'm a bit too low. Okay, so if I take this off and then I despawn that, I'm at negative 46. So I need probably a level 40 Jerry pet. Level 41 Jerry. Okay, this is a very specific price. However, I'm willing to pay it. All right, so we're gonna buy this. And now we have this. So if I activate that instead and hold this, five Intel. It, it, it actually costs nothing. My mana is not going down. Yes, I can infinitely use this. Okay, wait. Wait, why did this actually work? I didn't... <laughs> I did not expect this to work. Literally, no mana cost. I'm not doing much damage because it's my ult. Dude, you can use this thing as many times as you want. Okay, so the thing people like about Flower of Truth is it, like, before Lifesteal was nerfed, which happened, like, a, I don't know, like a week ago, the Flower of Truth was really good because of Lifesteal. And I'm pretty sure it's still really good because we're hitting three mobs very quickly from a long distance. So if you can use this infinitely, it's really good, actually. I don't know why it's aiming the mobs down there. There's nothing even there. I think it's just kind of bad at aiming. Oh my god, I got a carrot. Let's freaking go. This is kind of a, a neat little setup here. You know, infinite flower of truth usage or whatever. I like it. All right, uh, you know, I think I've done enough testing with this. On to the next stat, or myth, or... Yeah. All right, so it's been a few days since I tested the flower of truth. And since then, they have added a new item to the game. If we head over to the dark auction, and we teleport down, all of a sudden, there's a bunch of YouTubers here. Now, here's the thing. If you click on Seraphine, I've already claimed my gear, but you pretty much get this staff of the rising sun which has like a weird ability this thing uses 10 percent of your max mana now in theory this should be the same as flower of truth where if i get to a certain mana point i'll have unlimited usage oh this should be easy look at this i'll just buy this thing level level 10 jerry activate this bam five mana why is it consuming my mana? It didn't do that last time. Okay, do I need to do I need a level 11, Jerry? I'm going to get this thing to work. I don't care. I will do whatever it takes. I think I need I think I need 4 mana. All right, well, I have 4 mana now. What what, what is this going to cost? What do I mean what do you mean I don't have enough mana to use this? How do I not have enough, enough mana to do this? What? You know, okay. What what happens if I have full on negative? Wait, so when I when I right click as I'm negative, it says do this. 
and I've got no sound playing. But for some reason, when I do this, there's no sound and it says, use this. Yeah, this thing doesn't work. It actually doesn't work. It's actually a completely different check. It doesn't play a sound. It's not the same message. It just, no, this doesn't work. When it's five mana, I can use it, but it takes mana. When it's four, I can't use it at all. Ugh. Whatever, we're gonna, we're gonna go to the next thing. <laughs> so it's been a few hours since I recorded that last bit and I have had a breakthrough. So in my last video, I basically made a bunch of your viewer ideas because I had kind of cloned the game on a separate server. And since then, I've kind of managed to completely recreate their damage system. Now, pretty much, I wanted to see if there was a way that I would be able to get negative damage because my damage system is basically the same thing. Now, the first thing I thought of was giving myself negative 1 million strength. However, if I hit this thing, I still deal 3 billion damage. The reason being for that is that it multiplies your strength twice. You can see it's there and it's also there. So it just ends up being a positive number. But then I was like, okay, what if I try negative crit damage? I spawn in another zealot. Bam, negative 8 million damage. So you can see here the final damage calculation. It's pretty normal until it literally multiplies by negative 10,000. And so I was like, okay, negative crit damage is the way to go. Now here's the thing. The last time I got negative crit damage, it was difficult, all right? So I had to do like a bunch of weird reforging. I, I, if I remember correctly, I'd only get like one or two per... They've made it so easy now. Well, let's say I take this uh, Reaper Orb here, right? Negative seven crit damage. It's that easy. Anyways, I pretty much have to reforge every single one of my talismans to Bizarre. Anyways, uh, let's get reforging. I realize this is gonna take a while to reforge everything, so I'm just gonna chill here. Why don't you just do the thing in the... What? Reforge all accessories. Why don't you just do that? Oh, all right. I, 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 just, I just, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just gonna, I'm just gonna... We're just gonna put all these away, and then we're, we're uh, you know, we're just gonna, I'm gonna press this button, and then we're just gonna, uh, I don't have enough coins. There we go. Look how fast I did that. That, God, I am just so fast at this, guys. Can we? Eh. Eh. All right, now I gotta move all these things to an alt account, you know, uh, before I do this. Okay, I, I kind of forgot that I didn't actually have to go to an alt account. Uh. <laughs> All right, uh, we're just casually at what, you know, negative 84, 184 crit damage. Okay, there's a chance I just wasted like 10 minutes of my life for this, but uh, we're we'll gonna see what happens here. So uh, three, two, one, zero damage. Okay, that, oh, I went from three, eight, 3,000 to zero. I am dealing zero damage right now. It, it seems as if uh, you cannot go lower than zero. However, zero is pretty impressive. Uh, guys, I am officially the weakest man in Skyblock. It only works when I'm dealing crits, which I guess we could probably work on a crit chance real quick. Oh, wait, no, there, here's an armor reforge. Oh, yeah, clean gives me 10 crit chance. So we can actually perfect our build of dealing zero damage here. I don't think anyone has ever said that. All right, there we go. So now we are at, I think, 100 crit chance? 99, close enough. But if I go here... All right, boys. Wait, okay, I was gonna do a meme about how one of the strongest weapons in the game is dealing zero damage. But why is Fire Aspect dealing more? Look at this. We take our nice uh, Valkyrie here. Th this is cursed. Literally, Fire Aspect is dealing more damage. Th this is cursed, alright? The only reason this thing is dying is because of Fire Aspect. If I... Well, okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put this in the enchantment table. I wanna remove Fire Aspect from this thing. Click to remove, there we go. This should no longer a Fire Aspect. I am now... That was Thunderlord. Alright, we're gonna remove Thunderlord from this thing. Perfect. Alright, now it's gone. Yes, this is good. Be best weapon in the game. Zero damage. Wait, how did that hit him? How did they die? I gotta figure that out. I, I think I'm good. I I I'm not able to kill these things, which is what my goal was. Wait, what about magic damage? Oh, magic damage still does a lot. I'm, I'm quite satisfied with this. Uh, zero damage build. Uh, currently dealing zero damage 99% of the time. Oh, that actually might be what's hitting them when I'm not critting. This is such a cursed screenshot, dude. There was this video I did like six months ago where I went on Refraction's Minecraft account and I uh, messed with them on Skyblock. I think I should have just done this. I should have changed everything to, to Bizarre. And then he'll hit something and be like, why am I dealing no damage? And then it'll just be this. It'll be great. Whee! Okay, that was pretty satisfying, not gonna lie. Oh, you know, I'd say this has been quite fun. I would actually go for negative strength. I've done it in the past, though. It's just... It's not as interesting because the, re the only reason I went for negative strength and negative crit damage was to get negative damage. However, I have proven that is impossible and the lowest you can deal is zero. Anyways, uh, on to the next one. All right, so this next thing I want to try is very strange and I don't know if it'll work, but I, I just wanted to test it because 
I had this idea a few months ago. Let's take this dirt block, right? Here's the thing, right? Whenever I right click, it just took three coins from me. Now let's say I were to undo this. Is this thing going to give me dirt back or is it going to give me three coins back? Oh, wait, I got my coins back. Wait, that actually worked. Wait, I didn't think that would do anything. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let, let's do a bit of a mix here. We need some extra dirt. We need some extra dirt. I got to make this interesting. We have five dirt here. And we have two in my inventory. So in theory, this will use two. Then it will charge me three coins. I'm going to undo. And I'm going to see if I will get two dirt and three coins back. Or what's, what's going to happen. I just got one coin. Okay. So... Okay, it just consumed my dirt. And it ate five coins. That's unfair. It used the dirt, but it also took five coins. And then it just gave me five coins back in on my dirt. I've just been scammed. No, 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 no. I don't like this. I don't like this. It's a, just a big L. It literally used my six dirt and six coins. Bro, I've been scammed. I've actually been scammed. I'm, uh, I'm officially gonna file a complaint. I, I don't, I don't like this anymore. I, I, you know, let's, let's skip to the next one. So right here, I have a shadow assassin chest plate. None of the stats matter. What does matter is that I get 10 strength for 10 seconds whenever I teleport. So if I want to put this on and then I uh, look at my strength, 576. Teleport once, 586, okay. I want to see what exactly triggers this. Because what about like ender pearls or something, you know? We, we, we got to test ender pearls. Because ender pearls don't cost any mana. So if I were to just, uh, you know, do this, 576, we'll just uh, go like this. You know how it goes. <laughs> it actually worked. Wait. Wait, wait, we gotta do this. I, okay, I didn't expect this to work. <laughs> 926 strength just from that. Dude, I did not expect that to work at all. 576. Why do Ender Pearls work? Okay, there's gotta be an even better way of doing this. So I'm at, what am I at? 577. Oh, that doesn't work. Okay, I don't know if that would work or not. But, Ender Pearls do work. Alright, so what am I at right now? 576. We'll just try and get as much as we possibly can. Trying to click very fast. This is annoying. Oh, hey. 1,000 intel. Or strength. 1,200. 1,300. Nearly 1,400 strength. And we started at, like, what? 570 or something? Little pro tip for any damage testers out here. This is what you do. You spam ender pearls. You get a thousand strength. There you go. All right. This next one is very strange. So if I head down to here, there's this little dude, uh, Vanessa. That's not a dude. That's a female name. Whatever. So pretty much I can make this rain for one minute and it will take 5,000 coins from me. And then it, it just rains for a minute. Nothing special. However, there's another item in the game called a Kaloon boat. I think we're to do a little bit of a visit. You know, we're to send a visit to time Dio. Hey, what's he doing? Hey, hi, I need your Kaloon boat. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna give no context. I just need it. That's not a concerning message. Do not fear. It is for a good cause. Oh, that was easy. Dollar store. Why does it say dollar store? All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna head to the park now that we have the Kaloon, but let's just make sure I can't drop it. All right, cool. We can't drop it. Okay, so let me, let me just show what this thing does because a lot of people don't know. If I hold the drop button, it gets really laggy and glitchy. It's, it's super strange. What even is this? And then I can do it even more and it, it, it like flips my Minecraft around. The raining is actually extreme. What I want to see is what happens if I combine fake rain with actual rain. So, uh, we're going to head over to here and we're going to, uh, pay our 5,000 coins. And then I do it like 10 times or something. So it's really extreme. Jesus. Come on. Anything? What the heck? It's just, it just resets. Wait, so I... <laughs> Okay, I didn't know that worked. Wait, 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 wait. I I'm gonna try this again. Wait, wait, wait. So what happens if I make it, you know, do the weird rain first, but then I make it actually rain? Wait, no, I just went down a level. It went down like nine levels. I pressed this ten times. It's like I never even used the Kaloon boat. So I'm gonna drop this. Jesus Christ. Okay. That did not reset the Kaloon boat time. Wait, so what if I press this again? Okay, that just did nothing because it was already raining. God, this is cursed, dude. All right, so let's just do it. Oh, I was gonna, like, reset the timer, like, right before it. What the heck? Oh. What if I do it again? Oh, now it's back to this. God, it's like you can turn your game, like, from one color to the other. Oh, now we're good. 
Never mind. <laughs> this is the dumbest thing. You know, to be honest, uh, this item is quite chaotic. I think it's better if it's probably, you know, not in my inventory, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna drop this. Oh, come on. 